Okay, I ordered the Fungi Perfecti Expresso, uh, Espresso Oyster Mushroom Patch, and you can order these at fungi.com. There you can see. And uh, uh, I, I did this after seeing the Paul Stamets uh, talk on TED.com on six ways mushrooms could save the world. And what they tell you to do, and so I'm following the directions, is you get a five gallon bucket and you drill some drainage holes in the bottom. Um, I, they said five to ten, I drilled nine. And then they also say drill holes in the side about halfway up or basically at the level that the substrate will be um, at so that carbon dioxide can drain off. And all of this is explained in, the, in, the, in this um, really nice uh, uh, instruction booklet. Um, which explains pretty much everything, including several methods um, to do it. And the one that I'm doing is using coffee grounds. I went to Starbucks and a couple of other uh, coffee places locally and said, can I have your grounds? And they're eager to give you their old coffee grounds. Apparently a lot of people put them in their garden, and so they're all prepared to do that. I thought it was going to be a problem, and it was really quite effortless. Uh, they were, some of them were quite eager <laughs> to give me their coffee grounds. So... And so anyway, I've made the bucket, and uh, uh, I've decided, now what they say, what, what his instruction says is to fill the bucket with coffee grounds, but I'm figuring the coffee grounds are at the very best going to spill out the bottom. And I know that cardboard, clean cardboard, makes a really good uh, media as well as coffee grounds, so I've cut out a piece of cardboard to put in the bottom um, to kind of keep the coffee grounds from falling out, and will, it will also serve as a media for the mycelium to run in. So I'm going to go get that. It's soaking right now in the sink. Um, they talk about putting it in a tub. Let's get, let's get that right. <laughs> but I've just got it in the bathroom sink because it's not very big and you just run hot water on it and let it soak for a little while until it becomes pliable until you can effortless, effortlessly, oh I guess it's ready now, until you can effortlessly separate it. And hopefully that will focus again here in a second. Ooh. Okay, so, and I'm just going gonna, gonna to put this in the bottom of the bucket and separate it. Uh, whoops. Actually, I'm going to separate it. Separate the layers and I'm going to put the corrugated layer in the bottom. This isn't very easy to do one-handed. It's uh, all right. To heck with it. I'm just gonna put that whole half in, and I've still got a piece left over um, that I could include in the media. So now I'm gonna go get the coffee grounds. Hang on. Okay. So as you can see, uh, coffee grounds for your gardens from Starbucks. They they are eager to give you. They some of them actually have labels and packages. Uh, one of them just handed them to me in a bag. I think these are espresso shot grounds and these are the the co free coffee grounds for your garden. And so I'm just going to fill it up the bucket to the point where, whoa, where I make a mess. Uh, try not to do this one-handed like I'm trying to do. Like there's some uh, coffee filters in there too. I don't think that's going to be anything to worry about because uh, the mycelium will grow right through that. Yeah. Oh, that pretty much brings it. Well, they said they that you want they want the level of the coffee grounds just a half an inch above or below the holes. So I'm going to have to untie this bag. It's a little bit. It's going to require two hands. So I'm going to shut it off here for a second. Okay, so I've filled the bucket up to uh, just below the holes with uh, substrate, and some of these holes kind of have coffee grounds in them, so they're harder to see, but they're, the holes are about a half an inch above the substrate, and I'm realizing now that once I add the, the uh, spawn, mushroom spawn to this, that's going to fill it up considerably more, so I'm going to take some more of this out and then mix it up, and when it's all done, when the spawn is mixed in, and uh, and then I pack it down, water it and pack it down, 
the level will be, you know, about a finger's width below the, the drainage holes, like it is here. But I'm going to have to do some adjustment here because I didn't think in terms of what it was going to be like when it was finished mixing. Okay, here's the um, here is the spawn bag, and we have sealed. This is a, a sterile breathing pack thing, and also I guess it's a batch number. And then next step, and you gotta you want to wash your hands. Uh, I used a little isopropyl alcohol to uh, kind of sterilize my hands because you don't want to introduce any other fungi or bacteria into any of this. And uh, as you can see, this is a well myceliated patch of spawn. Oh, it looks beautiful. Uh, you know what? I'm going to clean my fingernails too. Hang on. Okay, my hands are clean. So what you want to do is just break off big chunks of the myceliated media. This looks like probably a sawdust, coffee ground, I don't know what kind of blend this is. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly sawdust. Then you take, now if you're going to, if you're going to use the whole bag in one shot, which I'm not, I'm going to, I want to start more. So you break this up. This by hand. Yeah, just break that up and then thoroughly mix it into the coffee grounds. Oh, <laughs> I forgot an important step. You're supposed to actually uh, soak the coffee grounds first and let them drain, but as you can see, they're already draining. <laughs> and uh, so. We'll see how that works out. But you want to kind of uniformly mix the, uh, the mycelium into the coffee grounds. And then again, when it's all done, you want it to be approximately a half an inch below the holes that you've drilled in the side and you have to add a little bit more material here because so it's a little closer to an inch so yep. I'm going to have to put the camera down so because this hand's all covered with coffee grounds now and I don't want to put that in the spawn. Okay, you can see I've added more spawn to the uh, to the mix here. I'm breaking it up and then I'll mix it in here. And that should bring it up to the right height according to the directions. Yeah, I'm sorry about this shoddy camera ship camera, but trying to do this one-handed is what it is. Okay, that's pretty thoroughly mixed. And let's see, it should bring us to about the right level. Yep, that's, that's right about a half an inch below the holes. So, so there you go. And then uh, the next step, they include a plastic bag. I'm going to go get that to put over the top of it. Okay, so with it they provide this cool big plastic bag that has holes, breathing holes in it. Uh, all over the place. I think you can see those okay. And it has big breathing holes. And this is the humidity bag. This is to keep everything inside humid. And this is a two-handed job, so I'm going to have to turn the camera off and, while I drape it over the top of the bag and then show it uh, finished. Okay, there's the bag uh, draped over the top. And again, as you can see, the, it's got lines of air holes at various spaces to allow Air to air, an air exchange, um, but to keep the humidity level in there high. And so this is uh, this is October 1st. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, you can see what it looks like in there right now. And every couple of days I'll um, I have to mist it every day, and every couple of days 
I'll just come take a quick uh, couple of seconds worth to uh, to see uh, how it's progressing and uh, and then once it starts fruiting I'll take pictures every day so you can see the, the growth and I'll try and do it from the same spot um, you know so that you'll get a pretty good there's the the edge of the handle. Let me rotate this bag a little bit so that uh, let's see if I can peek through the hole. So I'll just peek through the hole, uh, something like that. Try and make the shot fairly consistent so you can get a good idea of the progress. 